this is the best clip right this is courtesy of the fire and the kids sub big up those guys now the funny thing about this is that i think most people out there you know are probably big fans of dustin poirier i think you know i think he's just got one of those kind of fan bases and he comes across really likable so i think when most people out there heard that brendan was backing <laughs> dustin to win we all flipping were like no because we know what that brendan curse does to people all of us Dustin Poirier fans were probably sat there thinking, fuck, man, Brendan's got Dustin. That means he's definitely going to lose. But when the fight started, it was pretty even. Maybe the first round went to Justin Gaethje and shit. It was pretty back and forth, I thought. They were pr pretty evenly matched. But then out of fucking nowhere, I think maybe made the third round or fourth, forgot where it was. Head kick out of nowhere, very well disguised by Justin Gaethje. Hit Dustin Poirier and he got knocked out. But in this instance, this video is funny because... Bradley Martin joined the fight companion that he does, right? The Kai Bassett's fight companion. And he basically, you know, it kind of felt like this was a, a bit, it was kind of planned beforehand or meant to do this whole like bet in, betting thing. But I don't think Brendan knew how much money Bradley Martin was willing to put on the line. I'm pretty sure this was part of the content they were to do as a bit they could kind of put out there as a promo to clip up. But I don't think Brendan knew he was going to, you know, want to risk 10,000. So when 10,000 got mentioned, you see Brendan's face like change, like, huh? And you also see him realize, you know, Bradley Martin isn't Brian Callan. This is a stranger. He's going to have to pay him the money, right? And then having read the comments on the Reddit, people are saying that Bradley Martin is known um, as somebody within the kind of Logan Paul scene and all those kind of guys. He's known as somebody that's kind of tight with his money and also somebody that is really kind of, you know finicky about money also so if you do you know if you owe him money if you have a bet with him he wants his money it doesn't matter how rich he he's not the kind of guy oh because i'm rich i'll just let i'll let it off no no no. if we did a bet if we shook on something or whatever i lent you some money you need to give that back to me and if you don't it's going to be a big problem so brendan is now in a position where most of the time when he does a bet with brian brian just kind of lets it lie lets it slide sorry or just, just kind of move on or whatever it may be. But in this case, he's probably going to have to pay the 10K. So this is fucking incredible, this whole thing. Let's play this whole clip because I think this is absolutely hilarious. It made me laugh when I saw it. It's the biggest Friday kiss I've ready for a couple clipping this. I thought about it. Uh, with main event? Or are you talking about main, main event? Co-main event. Main event. Main event. Gage. <laughs> Gage. Poirier. I'm saying Gage. Okay. I'll take Poirier. The diamond. And uh, hot sauce in MMA, <laughs> dude. It's good hot sauce. I feel like last time. I feel like last time we. I don't know. I think we did five, so I think we got to double it. <laughs> Ten G. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. I know what, you're 10, a car 000? guy. I know you're a car guy. Yeah. I know you're a car guy. You got some. You have some nice. You jumped in the whip the other day. Yes. You didn't think you'd fit. I had no idea that I would. <laughs> told you. That's, that's why I bought it. Man. I'm yeah. confident about this though. All right. I'm confident about. All right. This. Shoot your shot. Player. You really believe Poirier? Yes. Why do you believe Gaethje? Tell me just... how he beats Poirier. You can't because he doesn't. Can he I does. argue for Brad? I no, could, he doesn't. I, I could argue for Brad here a little bit. Just I. He does. If you, if you go, if you look I at the, if you look at their last fight, Poirier was killing him though. No, here's the thing. Now nah, Poirier was losing on on the cards a little bit, and also with the he, leg he kicks. He literally was not. I looked. I watched that fight two days ago. I looked at the scorecards. It was heavily in Poirier's favor. The only thing Gagey had was the leg kicks. He was getting countered. He was getting ripped. Momentum to the head was into the on side going to that fourth, and you had the eye. Okay, poke. the fourth round. It was Gagey was kind of taking over. Yes into that fourth round, and they got clocked immediately. Poirier timed that leg kick in round one. He was launching that left straight from round you, one. Fuck all that. I saw a clip where Poirier <laughs> was talking about, like, listen, Poirier was talking about, like, he, you know, beating bigger guys is easy, and that just kind of pissed me off personally. That's fair. Uh, that's you know, a 260 so, mindset. That's a 260 mindset. I'm 260, brother. Listen, I'm right, not also this. changed his yeah. fighting style, according to him and Trevor Whitman, since last time well, he's fighting I'm smarter, saying. which... I think it's his strength of schedule it allows yeah. him to fight smart and get wins. I don't know if James it's... Vick, Edson Barboza, Donald Cerrone were the three all fights older. after he fought Poirier. All older, exactly. Except for Those, Vick. And he got first round KOs in all of them because again, it's easier competition. He so what do you want, Poirier. Brad? What do you want? Shoot, shoot, dog. You want the ten? Yeah, just flat. Like cash on, app. Yeah. All right. <laughs> or like whatever. You can cash me. Cash me. <laughs> I don't have ten G's. Cash. What I look like? Come on. I look like Steve Jobs, dog. Yeah, whatever. No, he cash does. app. Okay. No going back on that. <laughs> You see his face? Did you see his face when he shook his hand? You see his <laughs> That's the face of somebody that is very, very worried that this bet is going to not go his way. 
this is the face of somebody that's very, very worried that the bet will not end up going his way. Absolutely incredible scenes, right? So that's how it fucking started, right? Assume, okay, somebody said here in the chat, who said here, um, 7.30, an incredibly reluctant bet, right? He's kind of pressured into it. I think the telling moment was when he said the amount, because this, again, goes into this kind of um, adds credence to the whole, um, what's that thing? The whole video we watched about cast media. If we go back in the beginning, there's two sections anyway. There's a bit where Brendan tries to change the subject when he mentions a car. Oh, you go into my Porsche. Was, you, you, I told you you could get into it. Big guys can of drive fast cars. Ha, ha, ha. And then Bradley didn't take that bait. He just kept on going talking about the bet and the money. And then when he mentioned the amount that he went to bet, Brendan was placed that. was like, what? So this goes to Creedence. So maybe he doesn't really have the time. Maybe he, he couldn't pay BGO because he didn't really have the money. Maybe. That's the point. Let's see it. There's a bit where he does it. Let's see if I can find it. You can't because he doesn't. Can he I does. argue for Brad? I no, could, he I, I could argue for Brad here a little bit. Just I. He does. If you, if you go, if you look at the, if you look at their last fight, oh, the ten The only thing Gagey had yeah, was the like somewhere here, somewhere here. Uh, hot sauce in there, but, yeah. <laughs> dude. It's good hot sauce. I feel like last time. I feel like last time we. I don't know. I think we did five. So I think we got to double it. Ten Gs. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. <laughs> look at that. Ten Gs. <laughs> That's the face of somebody that doesn't want to pay 10 G's. One more, one more time. That's the face of somebody that does not want to pay 10 G's because they don't have the 10 G's and they need the 10 G's. You know, this is this is definitely evidence that you know business is not going well. Let's go back one more time. And uh, there's hot sauce in there, man. <laughs> Dude, it's good hot sauce. I feel like last time. I feel like last time we. I don't know. I think we did five, so I think we got to double it. 10 G's. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. I what, know 10, you're a car guy. I know you're. A <laughs> He, he he short circuits. He fucking short circuits. <laughs> He's not happy. Look at his face. My guy is not happy in the slightest. Absolutely incredible. He's not happy. For a car guy. Yeah. I know you're a car guy. You got some you have some nice you jumped in the whip the other day. Oh you know what I just realized? Was Bradley trying to suggest another bet? Was he trying to bet fucking Brendan's car? Did you get this suggestion here? Was he trying to bet the fucking purple Porsche? trying to do wasn't he but then brendan switched the subject cleverly or maybe he kind of pulled out i feel like bradley was trying to go down that road let's put your porsche on the line or something <laughs> imagine that imagine if you had to put his porsche on the line that lovely gtrs imagine oh my gosh i think he was saying something about the porsche you got this nice little car right you got that little nice little purple porsche car what about we put that on the line what about we put the fucking <laughs> the Mexican on the line? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if you would have put the Mexican and his car on the line, right? What happens? You get my or he says, yeah, let's put the fucking let's put the Porsche on the line and I'll put my gym on the line. <laughs> the Porsche and the Mexican and <laughs> and I'll put my gym. <laughs> Yo, that is absolutely insane. So let's go to the actual video. Oh, we get oh, a drink too. Put every Modelo that we possibly have in front of me right now. This ain't ASU good. frat house, my friend. This bad. is, listen, I wasn't in a frat. <laughs> I was too good for it. Uh, no. <laughs> I was, dude, I was, I was. Too okay, by the way, again, from the clips I've seen, I know this guy comes across really corny and really cheesy and stuff, but I actually thought he did really well on the show. I think he added a good dynamic to have somebody on it that's clearly balls deep in MMA. Um, and UFC, he actually knows what he's talking about. He actually watches fight cards. So he actually watches tape. He actually knows the fighters and their flipping records and shit and whatnot. Like, it, it, it's quite nice to have that in the... Because obviously, Brendan gets fucking everything wrong. So he was actually on the ball in terms of saying who won, who lost, what happened in this fight, what that finish was, temperament, I, you know, whatever, you know, watching all the content around the fucking fight cards and shit, interviews. So he was, he was actually good. He was actually a good um, addition to the show. Whoever this... What's his name? Ben Davis, I think, right? Ben Davis. I think Brendan should have him on as a permanent guest. In my opinion, he should have been the guest. He should be one of the. He gets him on board because I think he's a small. He's a smaller content creator as well. I think I saw right. He's not super big yet, so he should be on there all the time. If they do a fight companion, it should be him and this guy, 
um, sorry, it should be Brendan and Ben Davis and whoever else is the guest. And that, I think, would create a better dynamic anyway for the show. It would actually make it a lot more um, enjoyable to watch because there'll be some two guests that have chemistry and then the, the, the other one person that comes on as a guest or the other two people that come on as guests. I think that's what they should do. Again, what, what do I know? Too involved Did you try out for him or no? no? I accidentally rushed. I accidentally rushed Fiji. You just went to a party. Um, and yeah, Jay no. coming in with the Modellas. No, you're the fucking go, baby. I think Bud Light owns Mo Big J is in there handing out handing out beers. So this is for sure clues that cast media is going down, right? There is no staff members. He's got his brother in doing the whole background, you know, that kind of stuff that probably wouldn't have been done with his brother. So this may be some add some credence to the idea that the money's struggling a little bit. Model and their stock through the roof, and everyone's like, "Yeah, take that, but yeah, big up Game Breed Football, man. Drive safe, my friend. Drive safe. Put down the Modellas if you're in your car as well. Put down the Modellas. <laughs> like, and it's like, like, like we money. own them yeah. too, dumbass. We'll be we are watching this again. If you just joined in, we're watching this so that we can get to the reaction, live reaction, of when Brendan realizes, or when Brendan sees that fucking, you know, Justin Gaethje knocked out Dustin Poirier with a head kick and then now he quickly realizes that he owes Bradley Martin 10k and then he comes to the realization slowly that Bradley Martin isn't Brian Callan and that most likely he will have to pay him the 10k. This is what we're waiting for. Let's just play a play. Bell action? I'll drink you put in a glass can. <laughs> put in a little <laughs> cup before you put the, isn't it weird how that became a thing and like I went, to, I went to the Padres game right and I'm there nice. with my brother and my oh, oh! oh no, no, no. no he knocked him out head oh kick God. Poirier yes! knocked out the head kick yes I mean Gaethje knocked him out <laughs> yes let's go oh run me my fucking money <laughs> that's the first thing he said run me my money the first thing he said look at Brendan's face we're gonna go back a little bit more we're gonna go back a little bit more. Just, just look at Brendan's face one more time. I'm sorry about the volume. If you're listening to this with your headphones, I really am sorry. But let's go one more time. One more time, right here into the corner. Let's get his face. Let's get his face here one more time. That became a thing, and like I Dude. went, to, I went to the Padres game, right? And I'm there nice. with my brother and my. Oh! oh! No, no, no! He knocked him out. Head oh kick. Poirier knocked yes! him out with the head kick. Yes. I mean, Gaethje knocked him out. Oh, no. Yes. Let's go! Oh Run me my fucking money! <laughs> Look at the terror on his face! The fucking terror! Sorry, I'm gonna have to fucking screenshot this. Oh, I have to screenshot this, I have to. Look at the terror on his face! And this one too. Ben Davis realizing he has to pay him to. He's oh my god, Brendan has to pay that guy 10k! <laughs> he's realizing it as well. I gotta get this. Honestly, oh my god. I actually feel bad for the guy. I'm not gonna lie, I feel kinda of bad for him. Because again, like I said before, having um seen the comments on the Final Kid sub, people have been saying Bradley Martin is known as a guy who's very, very um money aware, right? He doesn't let shit like this slide. He's very tight. <laughs> he he watches his fucking pennies and dollars and shit. And if you owe him money, you need to pay up. And if Brendan wants to be this guy's friend, he's going to make sure he pays. Because if he doesn't pay, this might be the end of their relationship. You know, this might be the end of their relationship. It might be the fucking end. So he's going to have to fucking pay up. Oh my God, this is fucking epic. Look at Bradley's face. Let's see Bradley's face. Look at, this, look at the smile on Bradley Martin's face. Look how happy he is. 10K up, right? He probably did the show for, imagine. I've got a theory that most likely they didn't do the show for free. If you're a content creator and you want to get yourself out there, just come on for free, right? He gets him on, they do, or maybe he swaps. Bradley asks him to come on his show, he comes on his show. So they did it for free. So Bradley's probably thinking, wow, I'm 10K up. I did this show for free. <laughs> and now I'm 10K up. That's a smile of being 10K up for doing absolutely nothing. Let's go back a little bit more. Let's go back. Listen, when he arrives, look at the smile. Poirier knocked yes! out the head kick. Yes! I mean, Gaethje knocked him out. Yes! Let's go! God. Run me my fucking money! He's about to eat his pizza too. He's got his hot sauce in his hand. Imagine how happy he is. He's about to tuck into his pizza. He's got his hot sauce ready to go and he's 10k up. <laughs> what a good day. What a fucking good day. Pizza, hot sauce, 10k. Loving it. <laughs> and Brendan, look at Brendan's face in contract. Oh my god. Look at Brendan. I, was so... I missed that shit trying to get pizza. I know, bro. I'm yeah. so mad right now. And Holy you don't even like shit. pizza. Bro. I didn't even. I didn't I even. He likes pizza now. 
everyone likes pizza when they've got 10k in the account right i fucking hate raisins but if someone gave me 10k i'll probably eat a bowl of raisins see ya <laughs> We're talking so about I Bud Lights, man. We're talking about BLs. We're talking about Bud Light and not Dustin being gay. Poirier fucking died. <laughs> Yo, damn you, Casey. Holy shit. I missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, let's see this. Is that Sebastian? Um, Logo Cart Logos Cartel said, "Gotta get paid for a singer." But that's the thing, Logos Cartel. Trust me, Brendan wants to be Bradley's friend, and from what I've been reading on the comments and stuff, Bradley is very picky with money. So Brendan's got two decisions to make in life. You do this all the time, right? In life, you have to realize, especially when you get older, you got two decisions to make. Usually, they say that a lot when you ask, when you borrow money from friends. Sometimes they'll say, when you borrow money from friends or when you're the person borrowing money from a, from a friend, you have to be prepared to either lose a friend or for, t for things to change, to be weird, or maybe they're just going to pay you back instantly and be a cool friend. Some friends do exist like that, where you ask them for money to lend, to borrow, you give them it, and then they give it to you right back when they said they're going to give it, or sometimes even before, with a little extra on top because they're happy about it. Or it completely ruins the relationship and they, you know, they're not your friend anymore or it changes because they take long to pay, whatever. In Brendan's case, he has two outcomes here. If he doesn't pay, <laughs> basically lose Bradley Martin's number. They're never going to be friends like they were before. He's going to hold it against him forever. Or pay instantly and act like it's not hurting you when it is, but then it saves the relationship. So it's in his best interest that he pays. Really and truly, it is his best interest. He needs Bradley Martin. <laughs> Especially after the last pod they did. That last pod was probably the best Brendan Schubert appearance I've ever seen in my life, and he needs Bradley. So if I was him, I would do it. Man, Scalco, he's gone. We're never going to know. Oh Fuck, God. dude. Fuck! He's yeah. never thrown a head kick! Ever! Yeah, well, listen. That's why I'm the fucking, I'm the commentator here, boys. <laughs> fucking, you guys Dustin's suck. so upset. Yeah, he should be. This is some hot hot sauce, huh? Is it hot? Yeah, is that it's, your it's hot good sauce? hot sauce. No, so I don't really have hot. my own hot so sauce. Really hot. Dude, That's Dustin's go. thing. Come on, little oh, shop, yeah, little like shop, little shop sauce. We, I know the shop, the shop sauce. It's extra thick. Fuck, you know dude. we have a uh, we we should have Poirier's hot sauce around here. Let's get Poirier. Let's call him. <laughs> talking about Poirier. Come on, talk about the money. <laughs> do we sell Poirier's hot sauce? We do. Yeah. I think so. Grab some of yeah, that. Grab shit. that. Grab that. In honor of my man losing, mm -hmm. put some fucking DP on that. Run the run the run the sauce. Run the sauce. Damn, DP that. Thing, oh, I want to see the replay though. Yeah, yeah, that'd be I great if they could show us a Please. fucking replay. Please. Wow. Was he really out? Was that like a he was out? Oh, dude, wait till you see it. I know we're talking about Bud Lights and not being gay, but watch this. Right behind the neck. His hand was. Bradley looks calm. Let's see. His if hand was. Anyone mentioned about the money? Let's see. Yeah, man. That's fair, dude. Oh my you heard that. Look, look at Bradley. Bradley keeps looking at him. Bradley keeps looking at him. And he's somber. Like he's, he's whole fucking. You know, he's he's fucking so sad. Look. Oh, oh, damn, that's that fucking. Hey, <laughs> you're like. <laughs> I feel so good. You fucking wow. loser. Yeah, man. That's fair, oh, dude. You heard that. What do you do with Gaethje now? <laughs> what do you do with Gaethje now? What do you do your 10k down now, brother? What do you do with Gaethje? Oh, that's fucking incredible. So yeah, let's see how this plays out. Uh, Bradley Martin fucking ran Brendan Shaw's pockets. Absolute horror show. Um, I thought the kid in the turtleneck, Ben Davis, did really well on the show. They should bring him back on there. He should be the permanent um, co-host of the show especially if he's like a newer content creator and stuff he probably would um, be up for it and have time to do it and whatnot and um, build the show from there have them to be the main guests Brendan and Ben Davis and then have uh, two other people coming in but having it all be three different people with Brendan is weird dynamic I feel like you need to have a bit of a chemistry in there so I have him and Ben Davis here week on week out and I think the show will do actually pretty well over time personally um, but yeah Brendan is 10k down <laughs> 10k down oh big up the chat what are you guys saying yeah Bradley might end up with Mysterious uh, dead Keisha Brendan thinks he's hand defending head kick is proper defense John M if again I'm not too familiar with the UFC I'm not super balls deep I mean I'm a bit of a casual but I do remember there was a head kick earlier on in the round that just that, that Justin Gaethje threw um, that looked like Dustin Poirier blocked, but it was pretty hard. And it probably did a lot more damage than he let on because a lot of fighters, especially the elite ones, are really good at having a poker face. So maybe Dustin kind of acted like it didn't hurt him, but that first head kick might have rattled him a lot more than he kind of gave, gave on because by the time that second one came in, it didn't even catch his whole face and it already, you know, the shin didn't go try to catch his whole face and it already went down. So maybe there's some damage there already done. 
but that head kick was always on. But the disguise on it was fucking beautiful. The disguise, throwing the right and then having a head kick f- flick up that out at the right time was amazing.